Concealed beneath the smooth facade is a layer of rubble. Under that, an older pyramid, roughly half the Castillo's size. In a remote jungle, researchers have made an incredible discovery that could change our understanding of human history. Some researchers point to the intricate stonework as evidence of the use of advanced precision technology. They have uncovered ancient structures built by an extinct species of hominins long before the first known humans appeared. Look at this room with its echo. This remarkable finding challenges what we thought we knew about early civilization and human evolution. This discovery promises to reveal new insights into our distant past and the stories of those who came before us. This 60,000 ton structure is a marvel of ancient engineering. Let's delve into the remarkable structures built by our ancestors, which reveal not only their architectural prowess, but also their cultural and spiritual beliefs. The discovery at Colombo Falls. In the isolated area of Zambia, an archaeological site in Colombo Falls has exposed new evidence that changes how we look at early human development. Scientists have come across a wooden structure made of logs interlinked with precise cuts and dates discovered back to 476,000 years. This discovery disproves the notion of the Stone Age and shows that early man was much more sophisticated in woodwork. Many wooden tools have also been discovered, such as wedges, digging sticks, and notched branches, which date from 390,000 to 324,000 years ago. These artifacts point to the fact that the inhabitants of Colombo Falls were not only nomadic, they probably put up semi-permanent or permanent structures, given the availability of wood and the constant water from the falls. As more research is done on this site, we learn more about human evolution and that early ancestors were much more intelligent than people had initially thought. These discoveries at Colombo Falls are rewriting the history of human ancestors by stressing the innovative nature of the early hominins. The Brunichel Cave Structures, France The prehistoric structures found in the Brunichel Cave in France are a mystery to science as they were constructed before the present form of human civilization. Discovered in 1990, this cave contains ring-like formations built from approximately 400 broken stalagmites. The structures are about 176,000 years old, which is long before the advent of Homo sapiens in Europe, which means Neanderthals, an extinct branch of Homo sapiens, made them. These rings were not simple to create, it needed planning and teamwork to install over 330 meters deep into the cave in complete darkness. They also lit up their path with fire, the evidence of which can be seen through the charred bones and ash. This discovery challenges what we've long believed about Neanderthals. They were not as simple-minded as we used to believe they were. The past of our close ancestors may be more diverse and complex than we could have thought, Thus, the tale of human intelligence is not as simple as it seems. Ruins of Pisac, Peru Overlooking the mountain valley, on top of a rocky cliff, lies the mysterious archaeological site of Pisac, the wonder of the ancient Incas. Pisac was constructed around the 15th century, during the reign of the ninth Inca ruler, Pachacuti. Situated at a high altitude of 3,300 meters, this site is well known for its arable slopes, developed in a series of terraces. These hundreds of terraces were not only an agricultural system, but also a survival system that turned steep and rocky land into arable land, proving how the Inca knew the secrets of agriculture and how to turn wasteland into productive farmland. The precision stonework here is awe-inspiring, with massive stones fitted together so tightly that even a blade of grass can't slip between them. A hallmark of Inca craftsmanship. But why did the Incas decide to establish their city in this rather isolated and high-altitude area? Some say that it was done to safeguard the sacred valley, while others claim that it was done to be closer to their gods up in the heavens. The main function of Pizak is still unknown, 
hidden behind the mists and the mountains of the Andes. Skara Bay Located on the Orkney Archipelago off the north coast of Scotland, this remarkably preserved Neolithic village was established circa 3180 BC, long before the construction of Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The village is made up of several houses made of stone, and each house has only one room with stone fixtures and fittings, thus giving the visitor an interesting and exciting peek into the lifestyle of the inhabitants of the village. The structures are half buried and linked by tunnels, and this indicates a high level of architectural knowledge and the desire to build structures that would protect them from the climatic conditions of Orkney. The site was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999, and it is one of the best places where people can think about the lives of people who lived before us and how they built such wonderful structures in the face of an uncertain future. Gobekli, Turkey An archaeological site in southeastern Turkey, Gobekli Tepe has put forward new knowledge about the early stages of human development. This Neolithic temple complex has been dated to around 9600 BCE, and this means that it predates Stonehenge by more than 6,000 years, which changes the historical narrative that had been previously held about the evolution of religion and society. The site consists of more than 20 circular stone structures with large T-shaped limestone pillars, some of which are 5 meters tall, up to 5 meters in length and up to 10 tons in weight. These pillars are ornamented with images of foxes, birds, and abstract signs, which gives a hint at the spiritual or ritualistic meaning of the images. Gobekli Tepe, now on the UNESCO World Heritage List, remains a source of interest for archaeologists and historians as it reveals much about early societies. Gantija, Malta the Guntija temples, situated in Gozo Malta, are an ancient temple complex dating back to between 3600 and 2500 BCE. This is one of the oldest freestanding structures in the world and was constructed way before Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt. The name Guntija means giantess in Maltese, which refers to the local folklore stories that tell of a giantess who constructed the temples within a day while holding her child. This structure comprises two well-preserved temples surrounded by a large wall. Constructed from locally sourced limestone, the temples feature a series of apses and a central corridor, showcasing advanced engineering techniques, including the use of corbelling to support the roofs. Today, people come to explore the temples and learn about their significance at the Gantija Archaeological Park which includes the history and culture of the Neolithic inhabitants of Malta. Mergar, Pakistan Mergar is a significant Neolithic archaeological site situated on the Kachi Plain, Pakistan, dating from about 7000 BCE to 2500 BCE. This site was found in 1974 by a French archaeological team led by Jean-Francois Jarige, consisting of several mounds. It yielded about 32,000 artifacts, indicating that the society was complex with early signs of agriculture and animal rearing. The first inhabitants of Mergar were farmers who grew barley and wheat and raised sheep, goats, and cattle. They included structures that were made of unbaked mud bricks. Notably, the site has presented some of the first proofs of proto-dentistry, including drilled teeth in Neolithic burials and advanced medical practices. The findings of Mergar have been useful for the study of early agricultural societies and their evolution from a nomadic way of life to sedentary societies. Nan Madol Nan Madol is perhaps one of the greatest archaeological wonders that has been found on the eastern coast of Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia. Pristinely beautiful and known as the Venice of the Pacific, this overwhelming ancient city 
is made of about 97 man-made tiny islands through shallow tidal canals. Founded sometime between the 8th and the 17th centuries CE, Nan Madol was central to the Sotalur dynasty, where all the inhabitants of the island were governed. The archaeological importance of the site, known for megalithic structures mainly constructed of large stones, which are basalt, originated from the nearby volcanic plug. These stones were well shaped and arranged neatly to form walls, towers, and flooring, which made the structures rise from the water. The name of the city means within the intervals, which points to the fact that the city is shaded by a complex system of canals. Tower of Jericho The old Tower of Jericho stands in the Jordan Valley Desert as a testimony to the creativity and drive of the Neolithic people. Built approximately 8000 BCE, this megalithic tomb is one of the earliest known monumental stone structures anywhere in the world, and it predates even the Egyptian pyramids by several millennia. The conical structure of the tower, with a height of 8.5 meters, was obtained through a rigorous process of placing stone blocks weighing over one ton. The main staircase has 22 steps that run through the walls about 1.5 meters thick. It is believed that it took 11,000 working days to build it, and this shows the level of craftsmanship and planning done by the Neolithic people. Teotihuacan Before Europeans came to North America, an unknown culture arose in central Mexico and built a grand city that we know as Teotihuacan. Founded around 100 BCE by 500 CE, the city reached its largest area of about 8 square miles and may have housed between 125,000 and 200,000 people. Its name, translated as the place where the gods were created, was assigned to the building by the Aztecs, who worshipped the ruins even when the city, as a megapolis, had lost its significance. It is rich in remarkable buildings. For instance, it houses the Pyramid of the Sun, the Pyramid of the Moon, and the Avenue of the Dead, the principal road in the city. Puma Punku Puma Punku, or Gate of the Puma, is a mysterious archaeological site situated near Tiwanaku in western Bolivia. Founded around 536 AD, it constitutes a part of the Tiwanaku cultural and political site, a central hub of the Tiwanaku civilization. The site has several architectural constructions of andesite with precise stonework and large blocks over 100 tons. Puma Punku's layout includes a terraced platform mound, sunken courts, and gateways, which indicate engineering excellence. The site is particularly noted for its finely crafted stone blocks, which exhibit perfect right angles and intricate drill holes, leading to speculation about the technology used in their construction. Some theories suggest that advanced tools or even extraterrestrial influence may have played a role in the creation of these structures, although mainstream archaeology attributes their construction to the skilled labor of the Taiwanaku people. Ayutthaya, Thailand Ayutthaya is one of the most ancient cities in Thailand. It was founded in 1351 and became one of the most powerful cities in Southeast Asia. Ayutthaya was well situated at the junction of three rivers, which made it a focal point for commerce and exchange of ideas with traders from Asia, Europe, China, and India. It was also famous for its beautiful architecture, such as the temples of Wat Phrasi Sanfet and Wat Mahathat, with beautiful sculptures and tall chedis. Ayutthaya is in ruins, but still, Heritage remains one of the most mysterious and legendary cities in the world. The legends of the locals tell the stories of the treasures buried under the stones and the spirits that roam the temple area. Ayutthaya, with its historical heritage, has attracted tourists, inviting them to discover the mystery of the place and the stories left unsaid. Sigiriya 
Sigiriya, or the Lion Rock, is an ancient rock fortress in Sri Lanka that stands majestically amidst the green jungle. The 5th century CE is one of the oldest monuments in India and a UNESCO site that narrates stories through its structure. There is a legend of Kashapa, who usurped the throne from his father in anticipation of the rightful heir, Mughalana. To shield himself from any attack, Kashapa constructed a powerful fort on the rock with a beautiful garden and a magnificent palace. However, the end of Kashapa was near when Mughalana defeated him despite all these defenses. Instead of giving in, Kashapa committed suicide and the place remains to this day, telling the story of power, betrayal and witchcraft. Today, Sigiriya captivates visitors with its haunting beauty, ancient frescoes and the enigmatic mirror wall, inviting exploration of its storied past. Masada Masada, a historical fortress on a large rock in Israel, is a perfect example of people's creativity and the desire to fight for freedom. It was originally built and strengthened in the 2nd century BCE by Jonathan Maccabeus and later expanded to a magnificent palace and a complex of buildings including palaces, warehouses and a synagogue, as well as an extraordinary water supply system. Today, Masada is considered a symbol of the Jewish people's ability to defend themselves. It is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and many people would love to visit this place and see how it looks and the history behind this great fortress, which symbolizes great strength amid difficulties. Ephesus Ephesus is one of the oldest cities in the world and was situated on the western coast of Asia Minor in present-day Turkey. It was established in the early 10th century BCE and was renowned for the Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, built circa 550 BCE. Ephesus was a prosperous city during the Roman period and was made the capital of Asia Minor in 27 BCE. It had marvelous structures such as the Library of Celsus and a theater with a seating capacity of 25,000. Ephesus also had importance in the early Christian period. The Apostle Paul preached here and the city is mentioned in the Book of Revelation as one of the seven churches. Although the city was abandoned after the devastation of floods and earthquakes, the ruins of Ephesus are relatively well preserved. Chichen Itza Chichen Itza rises from the jungles of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. It is a place steeped in history and shrouded in mystery. Founded in 600 AD, this is one of the oldest Mayan cities with so much history hidden in every rock. The El Castillo, or Temple of Kukulkan, is the tallest and measures 98 feet. At night, the shadows mimic a serpent during the equinox. Chichen Itza is not only a pyramid, the Great Ball Court, resonates with the hum of the life and death games played here, with stakes so high they reach the heavens. The sacred cenote was a mysterious, large and deep sinkhole believed to be a direct connection to the gods. It was also through this hole that people threw their gifts and offerings to the gods. Every nook and cranny of Chichen Itza is steeped in mystery and is said to have stories of rituals, cosmic understanding, and a civilization that still enchants the hearts of those who roam the site. Dolavira, India The site of Dolavira in Gujarat state, India, is one of the most important and oldest sites of the Indus Valley civilization. The city is a clear example of how ancient people thought and planned their city and buildings. The site features a quadrangular layout fortified by formidable walls. Dolavira is famous for its well-developed water conservation structures and complex drainage system for rainwater in the desert region. The people showed great ingenuity using ratios and geometry in their construction. Among the features of the building, one can mention a signboard with 10 symbols of the Harappan script that might indicate the existence of a developed system of signals. The site remains a source of interest for scholars and tourists due to its historical and architectural significance. Bagan, Myanmar 
Bagan is an ancient city in Myanmar, established in the mid-9th century and associated with the emergence of the Pagan Kingdom. It flourished from 1044 to 1287 and developed into a cultural and religious hub. This period saw the rulers of Bagan and their affluent patrons build more than 10,000 temples, stupas, and monasteries, which are a testament to the craftsmanship of the early Bagan artists. The architectural designs of the buildings in Bagan include the Ananda Temple and the Shwezigon Pagoda, which are both elaborated with carvings and depict a fusion of Buddhist culture. Of the 3,000 or so of these monuments constructed over the years, approximately 2,200 are still standing today. Many of them have been destroyed by earthquakes and have suffered from years of abandonment and disrepair but remain a tribute to the dedication of their builders. Tikal Tikal is one of the most mysterious cities located in the jungles of Guatemala and it has been drawing people in with its mysterious aura. Tikal is one of the most important cities of the ancient Maya civilization that was established in the 4th century BC and developed as a political, trade, and cultural power till the 10th century AD. The large temples and royal palaces, most concealed by the green growth even now, create a feeling of mystery. The silence of a city that used to be alive can be heard in the plazas, where people used to celebrate and conduct various ceremonies. Today, as the sunlight gets through the trees and falls on the stone buildings, Tikal beckons to get to know it, to find out what it has been hiding and the fate of the mysterious civilization that once inhabited the city. Karnak Karnak is located near Luxor in Egypt and is one of the largest and most important ancient religious precincts known as a petisut or the most selected of places. This vast site is dedicated mainly to the god Amun and covers an area of over 200 acres. It contains temples, chapels, and obelisks built over almost 2,000 years. The great temple of Amun stands as a focal point with its impressive hyper-style hall, which boasts 134 towering columns that create a striking visual effect. Each column is intricately carved, telling stories of gods, pharaohs, and ancient rituals. Karnak served not only as a religious center, but also as a site of pilgrimage, where grand festivals such as the Opet festival celebrated the divine connection between the pharaoh and the gods. Today, the site remains a UNESCO World Heritage Site, inviting exploration and contemplation of the mysteries and achievements of a civilization that flourished millennia ago. Baalbek Temple Complex the Baalbek Temple Complex in Lebanon is one of the most famous historical sites. Dating back more than 2,000 years, it was a Phoenician sanctuary, but it was at its peak during Roman time between the 1st century BC and the 2nd century AD, which demonstrates the workmanship of the ancient world. One of the largest temples of the ancient world is the Temple of Jupiter, with columns of up to 20 meters high and the stones themselves weigh more than 800 tons. The Temple of Bacchus is also beautiful, with its reliefs of Bacchus figures and beautifully designed interiors. These structures are proofs of the architectural ingenuity of our early societies, which constructed such structures without mechanical tools. Today, the place is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and people can come and feel the history of the place and the legacy left behind. Yangshan Quarry Yangshan Quarry is another ancient quarry near Nanjing, China, which has been in use for thousands of years and is steeped in history. Dating back to the Six Dynasties period, it became a major source of limestone for monumental constructions, especially during the Ming Dynasty. The quarry is most famous for the giant unfinished stelae, which was ordered by the Yongle Emperor in 1405 for his father's tomb. This colossal stone, which was meant to weigh over 200 tons, is only half hewn, and the sophistication that the ancients used is evident here. The sharpness of the cuts and the size of the stone blocks 
show that the people who created them understood many aspects of quarrying and stonework. Around the site are fossils of ancient tools and inscriptions that tell a story of the hard work and endeavor that went into such projects. Today, Yangshan Quarry remains a testimony of the creativity of its builders and raises questions about the techniques used and the megalomaniac vision of the Ming Dynasty. 750-year-old wooden statues of Peru. Deep inside the ancient Chan Chan archaeological site in northern Peru, a chilling discovery was made. 20 wooden statues, each about 70 centimeters tall, were found, giving us a fascinating yet creepy look into the Chimu culture. These statues, with their almond-shaped eyes and fancy headdresses, seem more than just art. They might have been guardians or protectors in this ancient society. Each figure holds an object, but what they're having is still a mystery. Were these things ceremonial? Were they weapons? No one knows, and the questions just make it all the more eerie. The statues are placed at entrances and sacred spots, like they were set up to keep away unwanted spirits, protecting the living from things unknown. The detailed designs and the way they were carefully placed show they were highly respected. But what were they protecting against? Just the thought of it is enough to give you chills. The more you learn about these statues, the creepier they get, making you wonder what other secrets the Chimu left behind with these silent wooden guardians. The Shigir Idol Hidden deep in the peat bogs of Russia's Ural Mountains, the Shigir Idol isn't just any old statue. It's the oldest wooden sculpture in the world. It was discovered in 1890 by gold miners, who found it in pieces. When put together, the statue stood over five meters tall, carved from larch wood with detailed geometric patterns and faces that seem to stare right at you. The faces, stacked vertically along the idol's body, are believed to represent spirits or gods. The Shigir idol is older than the pyramids in Stonehenge, making it not just an amazing find, but also a haunting reminder of a time long gone, a time when the lines between the spiritual and physical worlds were perhaps much closer than we can imagine today. The Mummified Monk Deep in the remote and rugged landscapes of Mongolia's northern Kovzgol province, an incredible discovery was made that stunned the world. In 2015, local herders came across what looked like a golden statue, but when they looked closer, they found something truly amazing. A mummified monk, perfectly preserved and encased in gold. This ancient figure, sitting in a meditative pose, gives us a haunting glimpse into the spiritual practices of the past. The monk, thought to have lived around the 11th century, was found in a surprisingly well-preserved state. His body had been carefully prepared, his internal organs removed, embalming substances applied and layers of fabric wrapped around him. Encased in the golden statue, the monk was turned into a living relic, a powerful symbol of spiritual devotion that goes beyond the physical world. Early studies suggest the monk might have been going through a process called self-mummification. This was a practice where monks would prepare their bodies for death over many years, all in the hope of reaching spiritual enlightenment. This mummified monk is more than just an old artifact. He stands as a powerful reminder of how far people are willing to go in their search for spiritual transcendence and of the many secrets still buried in the most remote corners of our world. The Hellish Creature In the quiet countryside of Poland, where shadows linger even after sunset, there stands a decaying mausoleum that's become the center of local legend. This isn't just any old mausoleum. Inside, it hides a terrifying secret that has made it famous in the area. Within its decaying walls is a hellish creature, a sculpture so eerie and lifelike that it blurs the line between art and nightmare. The story of this creepy figure has been whispered among locals for generations. The creature gained even more fame when it was shown in a film, its terrifying appearance leaving a mark on everyone who watched. But what's scary is that this demon-like sculpture never left. It's still there, sitting in the mausoleum like it belongs there. The place is open to the public, and anyone brave enough to visit can see this impressive yet terrifying creature up close. 
So, what is it about this sculpture that makes people so afraid? Maybe it's the way it seems to watch, to judge, to wait. Or perhaps it's the thought that something so scary could just be left abandoned, forgotten by everyone except the shadows that crawl through the mausoleum at night. This hellish creature is a reminder that sometimes the scariest things aren't the ones hiding in our imagination, but the ones that stand right in front of us, daring us to look away. The Fallen Angel in Siberia A mysterious and chilling story surrounds the supposed discovery of a fallen angel frozen in ice in a remote part of Siberia. According to the story, a team of Russian scientists or explorers found the frozen remains of an angel-like being, with its wings still intact, giving off a strange, otherworldly glow. The tale, often linked to hoaxes, describes the angel as looking like the fallen angels from the Bible, beings cast out of heaven for rebelling against God. The image of a winged figure trapped in ice brings up strong religious and mythical ideas, especially in Christian beliefs. Fallen angels are said to be those who defied God and were sent away from heaven, with Satan being the most well-known among them. The idea of these beings wandering the earth, either as spiritual entities or physical beings, has intrigued both believers and conspiracy theorists. Despite the dramatic story, there is no real evidence to prove the existence of this so-called fallen angel. The images and reports about the discovery are often shown to be hoaxes, made up to stir curiosity and create legends. Still, the story of the frozen angel continues, adding to the long list of unexplained mysteries that fascinate people around the world. The Seven-Headed Serpent In the heart of Cambodia, the stunning temple complex of Angkor Wat stands as a remarkable example of the incredible building skills of the Khmer Empire. But among all its amazing features, one stands out. The seven-headed serpent, called Naga, guarding the entrance of the temple. This mythical creature, deeply rooted in both Hindu and Buddhist beliefs, is as impressive as it is scary. The Naga, with its seven heads spread out protectively, is a breathtaking piece of Khmer art. The seven heads of the Naga at Angkor Wat give off an intimidating vibe, almost like a warning to everyone who enters about the power inside. This ancient statue is not just an art piece, it's a strong symbol of protection, spirituality, and the endless battle between good and evil. The sight of this serpent king alone is enough to make one pause and consider the mysteries that Angkor Wat has yet to reveal. The 500-year-old Aztec god. Deep in the heart of ancient Aztec culture, there's a powerful god named Xochipilli, who ruled over art, beauty, dance, flowers, and pleasure. A 500-year-old statue of Xochipilli gives us a rare glimpse into the spiritual world of the Aztecs. Carved carefully from stone, Xochipilli's headdress is decorated with delicate flowers, showing his connection to nature's beauty and fragility. The statue also features elaborate jewelry and carvings of plants and animals that were sacred to him, making the figure seem almost alive. But what makes this statue truly unique are the sacred plants carved into it, which were believed to have mystical powers. These plants were likely used in rituals to help people connect with the divine and escape the everyday world. This statue of Xochipilli isn't just a piece of history, it's like looking into the soul of a civilization that found beauty in everything around them. But beneath all the beauty is a deeper, more powerful force, one that can inspire both awe and fear. This ancient god, captured in stone, still has a hold on those who explore the mysteries of the Aztec world, reminding us of the complex and sometimes frightening relationship between humans and the divine. The Ancient Greek Athlete In the clear waters off the coast of a small Croatian island, a discovery was made that amazed the world of archaeology. In 1996, a team of underwater archaeologists found the statue of Apoxiomenos, an ancient Greek athlete caught in a moment of ritual cleansing. 
This bronze statue, believed to be created by the famous sculptor Lysippos, is a rare and priceless find, showing us the artistry and athleticism of ancient Greece. The statue shows a young athlete using a strigil, a curved metal tool used in ancient Greece, to scrape oil and sweat from his body. One arm is raised while the other crosses his body, showing the strength and grace of a Greek athlete. The detail in the sculpture is incredible, capturing the tight muscles, the focused expression, and the smooth movement. What makes this discovery even more special is its almost perfect condition, even after spending centuries underwater. The Epoxiomenos statue is one of the few pieces of Lysippos' work that has survived, making it an important piece of cultural history. Now restored and on display at the Archaeological Museum of Loshinge, the statue is a powerful reminder of ancient Greek art and the human form. The Bronze Statue of Pompeii. Something incredible was found near the ancient city of Pompeii, a bronze statue that had been buried for centuries under the ash of Mount Vesuvius. This statue was discovered in a private villa that had been mostly ignored in earlier digs, and it gives us a peek into the artistry of the Roman Empire. What makes this statue stand out isn't just that it's made of bronze, but how well its details have been preserved, even after the eruption that wiped out Pompeii in 79 CE. The statue's posture suggests movement, almost like it could step right off its base at any moment. This lifelike quality, combined with how well it has been preserved, gives us a vivid look into the past. Pompeii has revealed many secrets over the years, but this bronze statue is one of the most impressive finds. It captures the lively spirit of Roman sculpture and serves as a haunting reminder of the lives that were frozen in time by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The 4,500-year-old Ka'apa statue. In 2018, archaeologists made an amazing discovery in Saqqara, Egypt. A wooden statue of Ka'apa, an important official from Egypt's fifth dynasty during the Old Kingdom. This statue is about 100 centimeters tall and is over 4,500 years old. It's one of the best preserved wooden statues from ancient Egypt, giving us a rare look at the art and culture of that time. Ka'apir was a high-ranking figure known as the overseer of the royal scribes, a very important role in ancient Egypt. The statue shows him standing in a proud pose, holding a staff in his hand, which represents his power and status. The craftsmanship is impressive, with detailed features that make the figure look lifelike. The most striking part is the eyes, made of polished stone, which creates an intense, realistic gaze. Considering that it's made of wood, it's incredible that the statue has survived for so long, especially since wood is such a fragile material. The statue is a powerful reminder of the incredible skill of ancient Egyptian artists and the close link between art and the afterlife in this ancient civilization. Roman Emperor as Hercules. In 2022, a fascinating statue was uncovered in the ancient city of Herculaneum, showing a Roman emperor dressed as the mythological hero Hercules. This marble statue, about 1.8 meters tall, depicts the emperor in a powerful pose, wearing a lion's skin and holding a club, symbols that are traditionally linked with Hercules. The statue was found in a private villa, buried under volcanic ash from the massive eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. The statue highlights the emperor's muscular build and heroic stance, showcasing both his power and the skill of Roman sculptors. Hercules was a symbol of great strength and bravery in Roman and Greek mythology, and emperors often wanted to connect themselves with such legendary heroes to strengthen their authority and claim to rule. Finding this statue in Herculaneum gives us insight into how people in ancient Rome worshipped their emperors, often treating them as godlike figures. The fact that this statue was found in a private villa suggests that the owner of the house might have been wealthy and influential, someone who admired or wanted to gain favor with the emperor. This discovery is a rare example of how imperial imagery was combined with mythological symbols, making it a unique artifact from the ruins of Herculaneum. The statue's excellent condition 
and impressive display of power offer a peek into the political and cultural world of ancient Rome. The 600-year-old Buddha statue In early 2023, a severe drought in China uncovered a hidden treasure beneath the Yangtze River, a 600-year-old Buddha statue. This incredible find came to light as the water levels dropped to historic lows. The statue is about 2.5 meters tall and shows the Buddha seated in a meditative pose. Even though it had been underwater for centuries, it's amazingly well-preserved, with detailed carvings and inscriptions still visible. The discovery has generated a lot of interest, giving people a rare look at Buddhist art and spiritual practices from ancient China. The Buddha's calm expression and graceful pose reflect the peaceful nature of Buddhism, while the detailed carvings on the statue offer insight into the religious symbolism of that time. The drought, though devastating, has brought to light a piece of China's spiritual heritage that might have otherwise stayed hidden. The Human-Sized Sculpture In the dense jungles of modern-day Mexico, archaeologists uncovered an amazing human-sized sculpture in an ancient Mayan town. Carved from limestone, this nearly six-foot-tall figure was found standing proudly in a central plaza, which was once the heart of the town's public life. Mayan plazas were important for religious ceremonies, political events, and social activities, making this sculpture a key part of the town's history. This discovery not only provides insight into the artistry and beliefs of the ancient Mayans, but also raises questions about the identity of the figure. Was it a god worshipped by the town? A leader who ruled over it? Or perhaps both? The human-sized sculpture offers a fascinating look into the mysterious world of the Mayan civilization. The Statue of Apollo In 2013, a young fisherman named Judat Grab made an amazing find off the coast of Gaza. While out on his boat, he noticed something unusual caught in his fishing nets, an ancient bronze statue buried under the shallow water. With his friend's help, Judat pulled the statue onto the shore, and what they discovered left them speechless. A nearly 1.8-meter-tall statue of Apollo, the Greek god of music, arts, prophecy, and healing. This bronze statue, with its classic pose, detailed features, and strong physique quickly grabbed the attention of experts. Apollo, a key figure in ancient Greek mythology, was often shown as the perfect example of physical beauty. And this statue was no different. Its craftsmanship suggested it was a special artifact from a lost time, hidden underwater for centuries before being found. The mystery of how a statue of Apollo ended up off the coast of Gaza is still unsolved. It's thought that the statue might have come from a shipwreck or been lost during transport, maybe intended for a rich person or a temple. The fact that it's made of bronze, a material often used for important religious or cultural items, adds to its importance. Even though the statue was briefly shown to the public, it disappeared from view because of political troubles in the region. The story of the Apollo statue is not just about its discovery, but also about the complex history of the place where it was found. It makes us wonder what other treasures might be hidden beneath the Mediterranean waters. The 300 million year old bell. In 1944, a young boy named Newton Anderson made an incredible claim. He had found a 300 million year old bell in a lump of coal in West Virginia. The bell, about seven inches tall, is made of a brass-like material and has a detailed picture of a Garuda, a mythical bird from Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain traditions. This find puzzled experts because the coal where the bell was found is millions of years old, long before humans or even dinosaurs were around. The bell's handle is especially interesting, showing detailed craftsmanship and designs that suggest it wasn't just a random object. The Garuda, often seen as a divine being in Hindu mythology, is a significant symbol linked with power, speed, and martial skill. 
But how did such a culturally important object from Southeast Asia end up in coal in West Virginia? There's been a lot of debate about the so-called 300 million year old bell. Some people think it's an extraordinary out-of-place artifact, while others believe it might just be an old object that ended up in the coal by natural means. No matter what the truth is, the bell continues to fascinate those interested in ancient mysteries. The Winged Sculpture of Assyria In northern Iraq, near the ruins of the ancient city of Nimrud, a 2,700-year-old winged sculpture was uncovered, giving experts an incredible look into the greatness of the Assyrian Empire. Nimrud, once a major capital of the Assyrian Empire, was founded in the 13th century BCE and was famous for its grand palaces and huge sculptures, often showing gods and mythical creatures. Even though this winged sculpture is partially destroyed, it still shows the artistic skill of the Assyrians. The wings, carved with great care, are the most impressive parts of the remaining pieces. Each feather is finely detailed, showing the craftsmanship of ancient Assyrian artists. The sculpture's wings suggest it might have been a symbol of a divine being or protective spirit watching over the city and its people. Unfortunately, much of the sculpture was lost over the centuries, leaving only a few fragments. But these fragments are enough to give experts an idea of the magnificence that once stood in Nimrud. The discovery of the winged sculpture has sparked new interest in the site, as archaeologists hope to learn more about the city's history and the role such sculptures played in Assyrian life. The Moai Statues of Easter Island The Moai Statues of Easter Island have long captivated the world with their grandeur and mystery. These colossal stone figures, carved between 1400 and 1650 CE by the Rapa Nui people, stand as symbols of a once flourishing civilization. When Dutch explorer Jacob Roggeveen first set eyes on Easter Island in 1722, his crew was astonished by the sight of these towering statues, some reaching heights of nearly 40 feet and weighing up to 75 tons. What makes the Moai so intriguing isn't just their size, but the air of mystery that surrounds them. Over 900 statues have been discovered on the island, with many of them scattered across the landscape, standing solemnly on stone platforms. Their faces are characterized by elongated features and deep-set eyes, and they are thought to represent the spirits of revered ancestors. But how were these massive statues, transported from the volcanic quarry of Rano Raraku to various points on the island? Theories abound, from wooden sleds to intricate rope systems, yet no definitive explanation has been agreed upon. Titanic's Lost Bronze Statue The tragic sinking of the RMS. Titanic has always fascinated people, and every discovery helps us understand the luxury that once filled the doomed ship. Among these finds, an expedition to the wreckage uncovered a stunning bronze statue hidden for over a century under layers of ocean silt. The Titanic, known not only for its tragic end, but also for its luxurious design, was filled with fine art. This statue, which likely once stood in the Grand Staircase or the First Class Lounge, adds another piece to the ship's story. Even though the statue is covered in marine life and sediment, it still shows the unmistakable style of Edwardian-era art, a time known for its revival of ancient Greek and Roman themes. This find not only deepens our understanding of the Titanic's lost treasures, but also symbolizes how quickly luxury can vanish in the face of tragedy. So, what do you think? Could these ancient statues be more than just eerie works of art? Are they hiding secrets about forgotten civilizations, mystical powers, or even something far more terrifying? Abydos Brewery, Egypt in a successful research operation, 
American and Egyptian archaeologists have uncovered the world's oldest large-scale brewery at Abydos in southern Egypt. Dating back about 5,000 years to around 3,000 before Common Era, this ancient facility was built during the time of King Nama, when Egypt first unified. The brewery, located at the edge of the desert, was a massive operation with at least eight separate sections. Each section had about 40 large ceramic vats used to brew beer. Lined up in rows, these vats were used to cook a mixture of grain and water to make beer. The brewery could produce around 22,000 litres gallons of beer in one batch, enough to provide a daily beer ration for more than 8,800 people. Despite only the underground part surviving, the scale of production is unmatched in early Egyptian history, showcasing the importance of beer in ancient Egypt. Weinstephan Brewery, Germany Nearly 1,000 years ago, the Bavarian state brewery Weinstephan started as a monastery brewery run by Benedictine monks. Today, it's known as the Royal Bavarian State Brewery and is still under the control of the Bavarian government. Founded in 1040 in Freising, Bavaria, Weinstephan is the world's oldest brewery, continuously operating for over 980 years. A key moment in brewing history happened in 1516 with the Bavarian Purity Law. This law set strict rules for beer production, stating that beer could only be made with water, barley, and hops. Yeast was later added to the list as it became essential for fermentation. Today, Weihenstephan is famous for its wheat beers, like the Hefeweizen, which can be found worldwide. But they also brew classic beers, including Dunkel, Festbier, Kellerbier, and Helles Lager. Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg, Austria since 1681, Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg in Eggenberg, Styria, Austria, has been a family-run brewery with a rich history. Over 340 years old, it's one of Austria's oldest and most renowned breweries, housed in a historic castle that adds to its charm. Founded by the prominent Eggenberg family, this brewery adheres to traditional brewing methods while embracing new ideas. It is known for its distinct regional beers, like the popular Eggenberger Märzen and Eggenberger Doppelbock, which reflect its commitment to quality and tradition. Even though it honors its historic roots, Brauerei Schloss Eggenberg has updated its facilities to stay efficient and keep up with modern standards. It perfectly blends centuries-old brewing practices with contemporary techniques, making it a standout in Austrian brewing. Brewerei Boon At a time when many lambic breweries were closing, Brewerei Boon did the opposite and opened its doors. Today, it's one of the most respected breweries in the world. By modernizing its brewery specifically for Lambic beer, it managed to bring consistency to this wild and unpredictable brew. It's played a key role in reviving Lambic culture, even brewing wort for other talented Lambic blenders in the region. Brewerei Boon is also famous for their expertise in aging beer in wooden barrel and is the only brewery to have won six consecutive gold medals at the World Beer Cup. The brewery's history dates back to 1680 as a farm brewery in Lembeek, Belgium. Since 1975, Frank Boon has owned the brewery, continuing the tradition of producing authentic Lambic and Gues. With the world's largest stock of Lambic aging in oak barrels, Brewerei Boon remains a cornerstone of Belgian brewing. Brewerei de Halvermaan, Belgium. In the heart of Bruges, de Halvermaan is a family-run brewery with a history from six generations to 1856. This is where Brugge Zot, the city's beloved beer, is crafted, a strong, high fermentation brew made from malt, hops, and special yeast. The brewery is proud of its deep roots, with each generation passing down their brewing knowledge. Today, Xavier Van Este, the sixth generation, continues the family tradition, keeping the art of brewing alive. De Halvman is the last authentic family brewery in Bruges city centre, always embracing innovation. In 2016, they made headlines with a three-kilometre underground beer pipeline connecting the brewery to their bottling plant in the suburbs, a perfect blend of tradition and modernity. Visitors can take a daily brewery tour, which ends with a free glass of Bruges' blonde beer. De Halvermann remains a true gem in Bruges, committed to quality and sustainability. Grolsch Brewery, 
Netherlands. Roche Brewery, a well-known Dutch beer brand, was founded in 1615 by Willem Neerveld in the town of Grunlo, which was once called Grolle. That's how Grolsch got its name, meaning of Grolle. Over the years, Grolsch became famous for its 5% ABV pale lager, Grolsch Premium Pilsner, known for its unique flavor that has stayed true to the original recipe for over 400 years. The de Groen family took over the brewery in 1895 and held a major stake until 2007. The main brewery is now in Enschede, and you can visit it to learn more about the rich history of this Dutch beer. In November 2007, Grolsch was sold to Sabi Miller for 816 million euros, and by March 2008, Grolsch's shares were delisted. Despite the changes in ownership, Grolsch remains a cherished name in Dutch brewing history. Qingtao Brewery, China Qingtao Brewery, China's second largest brewery, was founded in 1903 by German settlers in Qingdao, a coastal city in Shandong province. With about 15% of the domestic market share, Qingtao is a major player in China's beer industry and accounts for half of the country's beer exports. By 2016, Qingtao became the world's second most consumed beer, holding a 2.8% share of the global market and is currently the sixth largest brewery in the world. Qingtao's logo features the iconic Huilan Pavilion at the end of Jiangqiao Pier in Qingdao, reflecting its deep roots in the city. The brewery has grown significantly, with around 60 production bases spread across 20 provinces in China. Qingtao beer is now enjoyed in 90 countries, including the US, Japan, and Europe. It made history in 1993 by becoming the first mainland Chinese company listed on an overseas exchange. Pilsner Urquell Brewery, Czech Republic. Pilsner Urquell Brewery, located in Pazin, Bohemia, opened its doors in 1842 and made history by creating the world's first pale lager. This beer, named Pilsner Urquell, became so popular that today over two-thirds of the world's beer is based on this style, often called Pils, Pilsner or Pilsner. The brewery's name, the source at Pilsen, was trademarked in 1898. As the largest beer producer and exporter in the Czech Republic, Pilsner Urquell draws more than half a million visitors each year. Tourists worldwide come to explore its rich history and see where this legendary beer is made. The brewery produces 11 million hectolitres of beer annually and ships it to over 50 countries. Visitors can tour the historic and modern brew houses, walk through nine kilometres of hand-carved cellars and enjoy a taste of unfiltered and unpasteurized Pilsner Urquell straight from oak barrels. Weltenberg Abbey Brewery, Germany. Weltenberg Abbey, located on a peninsula along the Danube River, is one of Bavaria's most cherished destinations. Known for its stunning Bavarian Baroque architecture, the Abbey also boasts a beer garden and a historic brewery where monks began brewing beer in 1050. The Abbey was founded in the 7th century, making it Bavaria's oldest monastery, and the monks adopted the Benedictine order in the 8th century. Near the Danube Gorge, just 30 kilometers southwest of Regensburg, Weltenberg Abbey is steeped in history. It was once the starting point of the Via Juxta Danuvium, a crucial Roman road that followed the Danube's south bank. This area, rich in archaeological finds, was also home to a Roman military station. Visitors to the Abbey can enjoy its historical significance and savor a beer brewed with nearly a thousand years of tradition. St. Peter's Brewery, Belgium. St. Peter's Brewery, founded in 1996, is one of England's original craft breweries. Located in the scenic Suffolk countryside, it sits alongside the historic St. Peter's Hall in the village of St. Peter South Elmham. The brewery's unique water, filtered through deep chalk beneath the site, adds to the quality of its craft beers. St. Peter's Hall, dating back to around 1280, offers a bar and restaurant, and is a beautiful venue for weddings, events, and meetings. The hall was expanded in 1539 using materials from Flixton Priory, which Cardinal Wolsey dissolved in the 1520s. This act inspired Henry VIII's larger-scale dissolution of monasteries, reshaping the UK forever. The brewery was founded by John Murphy, an entrepreneur who recognized the potential of craft beer in the UK. 
St. Peter's Brewery remains one of the first modern craft breweries in the country, continuing to craft exceptional beers in a truly historic setting. Augustina Brau, Germany. Augustina Brau, Munich's oldest independent brewery, has served beer since 1328. Founded by Augustinian monks, it started in the monastery complex outside Munich's city walls, which was the largest sacred building in Munich until the late 15th century. The monks supplied beer to the Bavarian royal family until the Hofbrau brewery took over in 1589. Today, Augustina Brau continues to be a staple of Munich's beer culture. They use top quality local ingredients and water from their deep well. The brewery also produces its malt on site in a historic barn. Their commitment to tradition is evident in their use of wooden barrels for brewing, preserving Munich's beer heritage while embracing modern technology to ensure the best quality. Augustina beer is not just a drink, it's a part of Munich's history and hospitality, making the brewery a true local icon. Spaten Franziskaner Brau, Germany. Spaten Franziskaner Brau, a historic brewery in Munich, Germany, was founded in 1397. Originally two separate breweries, Spaten and Franziskaner joined forces in 1922, becoming a well known name for traditional German beers like Franziskaner Weissbier. Spaten has been a leading exporter of German beer for over a century, helping to build the global reputation of German beer with its pioneering spirit and early international partnerships. In 1854, Spaten settled at its current location, and by 1867, it was the largest brewery in Munich. It began shipping beer to North America in 1909. The brewery achieved significant milestones, including producing 1 million hectoliters of beer in 1992. Then, in 1997, Spaten merged with Lohenbrau to form the Spaten Lohenbrau Gruppe, which later became part of InBev. Today, Spartan Franziskana Brau is a major player in Bavaria's brewing scene, continuing its legacy with about 2.4 million hectoliters produced annually. Church's Shoes, United Kingdom. In 1617, Anthony Church started making handcrafted shoes in Northampton, a town famous for its shoemaking. Fast forward two centuries and his great-grandson, Thomas Church, turned that small venture into a global brand. In 1873, with the help of his wife Eliza and sons Alfred and William, Thomas opened the first church's shoes factory in Northampton. As demand grew, they moved to a larger factory on Duke Street in 1880. William Church was innovative, introducing right and left shoes with the adaptable model, which offered various widths and half sizes. This design won the gold medal at the 1881 Great Exhibition. Over time, the brand grew building a modern six-story factory and expanding into casual footwear. The 1920s saw the first London boutique, women's shoes, and an overseas store in New York. In 1999, Church's was acquired by Prada, ushering in a new era of modern styles and global expansion. These oldest industries show us how people's ideas have shaped the world. Starting with brewing beer thousands of years ago, these early industries helped build communities and grow economies. The skills and methods from those times still affect how we make and use things today. By looking at these discoveries, we connect with our ancestors and see how early ideas have led to the modern world. It reminds us that understanding the past is important for making progress in the future. Which of these oldest pieces of construction amazed you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more nerve-wracking adventures. Stay curious, stay courageous, and keep exploring the discoveries of the past.